after more than a year of working remotely, some employees have concerns about returning to work. Now, returning to the office life has its perks and challenges, but for many it means leaving the one place that we feel safe, our homes. Dr. Christine Whelan is a clinical professor in the UW School of Human Ecology and a regular guest here on Live at Four. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. Good to be here. You're still home. You're a UW professor. You haven't gone back to campus yet. So what kind? What are you feeling about having to go back? So actually, you know, I have headed back a little bit here and there, and that's what a lot of people are doing. They're putting a toe in the water as they sort of figure out what feels safe uh, and, and how to create a, a sort of new normal routine. There are about uh, two thirds of employees now nationwide who, according to some recent surveys, who are saying that they feel pretty good about returning to work, but a third of people still have some serious and understandable health concerns. So how do you, what do you tell the, the one third who are not comfortable with this. Well, first of all, um, one of the titles that I now have um, is that I am the Chief Happiness Officer for Dear Pandemic, a wonderful group of epidemiologists. So from this group of really great scientists, I can tell you that the vaccine is safe, it is available, and it is effective. So the first thing I would tell everybody is to get vaccinated. And uh, and then once you are fully vaccinated, two weeks post your second shot, I think it it, it will be very safe to, to return to work. But then, of course, there's some other concerns other than just safety, right? I mean, when I came back, to the office. Uh, I found some tea that I had left in haste in March of 2020. Uh, that was growing some mold. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then there's the commuting and maybe new clothes in case you put on some pounds during the pandemic. It's going to be a transition to head back. But uh, there is an incentive, I would imagine, for a lot of businesses to get back to normal. Absolutely. So what we have seen is there are some people who really are more productive when they can work from home, when they can be flexible with their time. For others of us, especially those of us with young children, getting back to the office can really mean a newly found sense of focus on our work again and a little bit of distance between our work lives and our personal lives. So I think employers are seeing the benefit of it. Uh, and, uh, and I think a lot of employees are realizing the quiet charm of going to the office as well. And, and once you get into the routine again, it might feel better. It might. And, you know, there is some interesting research about commuting. So we have known time and again that research finds that the longer your commute, the less happy you are. At the same time, though, I have now talked to so many people who are saying that they kind of missed their commute because it was a transition between their work and their home life. And it gave them that necessary space to decompress. So, you know, I think there might be some benefits to getting back into the routine. And I, I do think, though, that we are going to see a, a, a chunk of workers staying remote and staying flexible hours. And this pandemic may push us into a whole new way of work-life balance. Yeah, does the research show do more, are more and more companies looking at hybrid models? Yes, more and more companies are looking at hybrid models and uh, the, for various reasons. I mean, certainly if you think about the heating and air conditioning costs of having a business open, if you think about who you need in the office for a particular meeting, can you shrink down your office space so not everybody is in all at once? Uh, and with these hybrid models, though, there are some really kind of interesting staff issues. Am I going to be taken as seriously if I'm not in the office? Am I as valuable a member of, as a, of a meeting if I am on Zoom versus if I'm in person? So we got a lot to figure out here. Mm -hmm. A lot of decisions to be made. Both Absolutely, and it affects our happiness and our productivity <laughs> both at the office and at home. It's been a long time for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Christine, thanks for being with us Great today. Great to see you, Christine. Thanks for having me. See you soon.